Hi, I am Ajit Virkud, Professor of Obstetrics and Gynecology from Mumbai, India. Hello, today I am going to introduce to you a new medical invention called Odon device. It is well known that operative vaginal delivery reduces the rate of stillbirth and early neonatal death and lowers the cesarean delivery rate. But the instrument themselves do occasionally cause maternal and fetal injury, including cephalhematoma, retinal hemorrhage, facial nerve palsy, and skull fractures. Although numerous modifications to the design of obstetric forceps and the vacuum extractor have been made over the years, no new technology has been introduced for centuries. Until now, a new device for extraction of fetal head in the second stage of labor has been introduced. It is called the Odon device. In the year 2005, Mr. George Odon, a car mechanic from Argentina with no formal training in medicine or obstetrics, aside from being the father of five, came up with the idea for a novel technique to assist in vaginal delivery. He was inspired by a simple trick he used to entertain his friends. It involved removing a loose cork from the inside of an empty bottle using a plastic bag. It occurred to him one day that this same scientific principle could be used to expedite delivery of the fetal head from the birth canal. And so he built his first prototype. The device has since been named in his honor. Following is a short video where he shows this trick. The Odon device consists of a tube containing a polyethylene bag. The tube is inserted into the birth canal and the bag is deployed and inflated to create a plastic sleeve that hugs the baby's head. The applicator tube is then discarded and traction is applied to the plastic bag to move the head and the entire fetus down the birth canal. The device operates on the basis of two physical phenomena air clump and conveyor belt. The characteristic feature of this device is its capacity to significantly reduce the coefficient of friction in the maternal birth canal. This is achieved by the easy sliding between the two lubricated inner walls of the device. The following video shows the application of the device on a mannequin. The device is introduced with a thin flexible spatula. When a minimal amount of air is insufflated via a tubing with a valve, the air clump is achieved. This results in a sealing effect between the fetal head and the maternal birth canal. Now traction on the back which embraces the entire fetal head brings about extraction of the head. The valve of the tubing is then opened to deflate the bag, which is then removed and the head delivered manually. The advantages of the Odon device are as follows. Unlike forceps and ventus, it is designed to decrease the risk of fetometal injury. It complements maternal pushing efforts, thereby reducing the duration of second stage of labor. It can potentially decrease maternal infection. It has low cost. It is easy rapid and smooth during insertion, it requires hardly any medical expertise or training, it is compact, easy to transport and store, and it is disposable. The World Health Organization plans to introduce it into the obstetric armamentarium in a three-phase clinical trial outlined in the Odon Device Research Project Report. The first phase is underway and involves testing the device under normal delivery conditions in tertiary hospitals in Argentina and South Africa. The next two phases will assess its efficacy in women with prolonged second stage of labor but no fetal distress and then compare its performance head to head against the vacuum extractor and the forceps. After successful completion of this project, WHO hopes that mid-level providers working in remote obstetric units can be trained in its use, 
thereby increasing its access to an important modality of emergency obstetric care for further reading on this topic and other topics in obstetrics and gynecology refer to the following books written by me practical obstetrics and gynecology 5th edition modern obstetrics 2nd edition modern gynecology 2nd edition clinical cases in obstetrics questions and answers second edition clinical cases in gynecology questions and answers second edition and pelvic reconstructive surgery if you have found this video useful and informative please subscribe to my youtube channel by clicking here